Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the second episode of Dramatic Readings from the Internet with Quam. Tonight, we're going to be reading Half-Life, Full Life Consequences. So sit back, brew yourself a cup of tea, and enjoy. John Freeman, who was Gordon Freeman's brother, was one day in an office typing on a computer. He got an email from his brother that said that aliens and monsters were attacking his place and asked him for help, so he went. John Freeman got his computer shut down and went on the platform to go up to the roof of the building, where he left his motorcycle and normal people close because he was in his office lab coat. John Freeman got on his motorcycle and said, It's time for me to live up to my family name and face full life consequences. So he had to go. John Freeman ramped off the building and did a backflip and landed. He kept driving down the road and made sure there was no zombies around because he didn't have weapon. The, country, the countrysides were nice and the plants were singing and the birds in the sun was almost down from the top of the sky. The mood was set for John Freeman's quest to help his brother where he was. John Freeman looked around the countrysides and said, It's a good day to do what has to be done by me and help my brother to defeat the enemies. John Freeman was late, so he had to drive really fast. A cop car was hiding nearby, so when John Freeman went by, the cops came and wanted to give him a ticket. Here, John Freeman saw the first monster because the cop was possessed and had head crabs. I can't give you my license, officer, John Freeman said. Why not, said the head crab officer back to John Freeman. Because you are a head crab zombie. So John Freeman shot the officer in the head and drove off thinking, My brother is in trouble there! And went faster. John Freeman had to go faster like the speed of sound and got there fast because Gordon needed him where he was. John Freeman looked at roadsides and saw Ravenholm with some arms writing under it saying, You shouldn't come here. So John Freeman almost turned around but heard screaming like Gordon. So he went faster again. John Freeman drove in and did another flip and jumped off his motorbike and the motorbike took out some headcrab zombies in front of John Freeman. John Freeman smelled it and walked fast. John Freeman then looked on the ground and found Waypon, so he piked it up, picked it up and fired fast at zombie ghosts in front of a house. John Freeman said, Zombie ghosts, leave this place! And the zombie ghost said, But this is our house! And John Freeman felt sorry for them because they couldn't live there anymore because they were zombie ghosts. So he blew up the house and killed the zombie ghosts so they were at peace. Then John Freeman heard another scream from his brother so he kept walking really faster to get where he was. Raven Holden was nothing like the countryside so there was no birds singing and the pants were dead and the dirt was messy and bloody from head crumbs. When John Freeman got to where the screaming was started from, he found his brother Gordon Freeman fighting the final boss. And Gordon said, John Freeman, over here! So John Freeman went there to where Gordon Freeman was fighting. John Freeman fired his bullet from the gun really fast and the bullets went and shot the final boss in the eyes. And the final boss couldn't see. Gordon Freeman said, it's time to end this once and for all! And punched the final boss in the face. And the final boss fell. John Freeman said, Thanks I could hit, bro. And Gordon Freeman said, You should come here earlier next time. And they laughed. <laughs> they laughed over it quickly, be though, because John Freeman yelled, Look out, bro! And pointed to the top of the sky. Gordon Freeman looked up and said, No! John Freeman, run out of here as fast as you can! And John Freeman walked out, walked real fast out. John Freeman walked back and saw Gordon get stepped on by the next boss, and he was mad and angry. I'll get you back, evil boss! John Freeman yelled at the top of lungs. To be continued. And there we have it. Half-Life, Full Life Consequences. The first chapter, of course. I hope you enjoyed that episode, because I sure had fun. And I'm sure you did as well. Thank you for tuning in this time for Dramatic Greetings from the Internet with Quam and Good Evening.